Hello, this is Henry Greiner with Mission Springs Marketing. I'm often asked about how to add anchor text to uh, pages that get kind of long or to have a button at the bottom of a page to go back to the top of the page when you get scrolled to the bottom and so on, or setting up menus, multiple menus that are going to different uh, places on the same page. That's called an anchor text. And in order to do that, you're going to, in WordPress, you'll need to install a plugin. I'm just going to quickly, sh quickly show you where that is. It's called the Tiny MCE. And I have that installed on my website here. It's this plugin right here, Tiny MCE Advanced. I have that installed, which allows me to I'll go over here and show you my settings. Uh, tiny MCE advanced. What this does is gives you a menu bar, and you can this shows you your men, your current menu bar setups. And what I did was I went over here and dragged an icon that had that anchor and put it up on this top menu bar. So what I want to do here is I'm going to go over to all post. I have a post that I started out on here. Um, there we go. It's a little bit long. It's not, not as long as some of the pages you might want to use this on, but this will give you an idea. So if this is kind of a long page and you get to the bottom, I could have a button down here. Basically, it's text that says back to top of page. And now I'm going to want to send this back to the top, but the first thing I need to do is at the top, here, just in front of this first paragraph, I'm going to go and put in the anchor text. And uh, top of page, I've used that before, so it's a sh kind of a shortcut. Top of page, just kind of all in one word. Doesn't really make any difference what that is, as long as that same word or words are used in the next piece here. So I've got my anchor, and it's going to drop a little anchor symbol up there and now I'm going to go down here to back to top of page and I'm going to hyperlink and what I'm going to do to hyperlink is to put the pound sign in here first and then put top of page so the pound sign you don't want a URL it's within the page so just the pound sign works and this this works within WordPress so a pound sign top of page, I'm going to click add link. I'm going to do the update. And then I'm going to go over here and view my post. Just like we're coming to the live website. So people land on this. This is under my news and updates area. People would come to this blog post. Uh, this is actually from back in uh, last year. They're read through, they get to the bottom, and quick way, if this was page after page after page, uh, or long, very long page, not page after page, but on a single page was very long, you could come to the bottom here, you just click on back to top, and it takes you back to the top of the page like this. It doesn't go all the way to the top because the page actually is right here. This is the header and the menu bar and everything else. So do need to kind of scroll back up a little bit if you want to go totally to the top. But this works well if you have uh, a number of selections of information. If you have a website that has uh, multiple selections to take a look at, like this page on Equip for Life, they have a menu at the top of their course content page. And so there are several areas for the semester topics. And then there's a paragraph or so of information by each of these topics. They're using the back to top of page. Takes you back up into the menu area where you can look at the content. And then if you're looking through this, let's say, if uh, Philippians, click down to that, and so we're in the Philippians area. And uh, if we take a look at this page, 
edit mode, we can see it's probably small on your screen, but there's a small anchor here next to semester topics, which would bring people back to the top of page. If I look at that, if I click on that, click on the anchor, this is top of page. That's the anchor text. That's where it would scroll back from each of the paragraphs on the bottom of the page. And then each of these paragraphs, the topic, here's the topics of class, Philippians and so on, has that little anchor icon next to it. So if I click on that and then click on the anchor up here, you'll see that it says Philippians. It doesn't make any difference whether it's uppercase, lowercase, as long as it's the same that you have up in the menu selection. So under Philippians up here, let's see if it'll pull it all up. Sometimes it doesn't actually pull the whole length this time. Yeah, it takes a little bit of refreshing to get it there. But that would, uh, in that link, it would be the pound sign and the word Philippians. So that's how it works. That's how you can go about adding anchor text to long pages or pages that you want to at least have a back the top of uh, page information on. Again, this is Henry with Mission Springs Marketing, and you can visit my website at missionsprings.net to learn more about our website design hosting and SEO and online marketing services.